We'll talk about the Stanley Cup super quick. I honestly am good for Bruce Cassidy. I have noticed that a lot of the players haven't really congratulated him. I haven't seen the Bruins say anything. I haven't seen any players that tweet Instagram. I'm sure that some texts were sent. But give the dude his flowers, okay? And I think that this just goes to show the question is, is getting fired kind of rad? Is it in right now? I think. I think it's kind of in. I think that getting fired might be a slay. I would agree. I think I'm very in on the idea of um, being gifted a clean slate. And moving to Vegas on someone else's dime. I love that for Bruce Cassidy. I was one of the people that was very sad to see Bruce Cassidy go. I think it's interesting that you point out that so many players have not congratulated him. I have seen a lot of the Bruins fan base very much happy for him, very much congratulating him. I think that speaks to who he was to the organization from a fan perspective. And I'm, I'm happy for him. I think he's a phenomenal coach um, in terms of really getting the best out of his players. And I think he's done so with the golden Knights. I think that they had an amazing performance through the postseason. Um, yeah. Good for Vegas. I'm happy for Vegas. I, I, I know that that was a hot take that I was, I was pro Vegas at the beginning, but, um, knowing I won't have to see Matthew Kachuk hoist a Stanley cup, not that he would be able to with his injury, but, um, is very satisfying to me. I, would like to say f- all of you nerds on hockey Twitter blaming Jake DeBrusque for them not having Bruce Cassidy any- anymore as if a bottom of the f- and people are saying like him and Trent Frederick. I think Chris Wagner was tossed out there. I'll leave Wags aside. If you think that Jake De- DeBrusque and Trent Frederick had anything to do with Bruce Cassidy leaving Boston, you're a f- idiot jake debrusque was specifically jake debrusque because this is what i have seen on twitter he was on the trade block and not making any money when this was all going on and you think he had that much pull to get a fucking head coach fired shut up just shut the fuck up i get that he rescinded like his want for a trade when bruce cassidy was fired but that literally doesn't matter if he didn't have a say in Bruce Cassidy keeping his f-ing job, especially when you consider the organization that we're talking about. The The idea that any of those kind of big decisions would come from a player is laughable to me. It should have been Don Sweeney anyway. If you want to blame anybody, it should have been Don Sweeney. And you know what? Sometimes breakups are good and they benefit both parties. Sure, I've said this. Bruce Cassidy won the breakup, in my opinion, because he got the ring. He got the Stanley Cup, you know, whatever you want to compare it to. But the Bruins also won the President's Trophy. They have a player happy coach for your veterans and you got David Krejci back and sure you had this, whatever. You have nobody else to blame other than your f***ing selves for this. Nobody else. You should have started Jeremy Swayman in game six if Linus Allmark was hurt. You shouldn't have been trying to test lines. You have nobody to blame other than these stupid, silly little mistakes Mm -hmm. that you made to make players happy because you didn't fire Don Sweeney instead. And you know what? I think the Bruins are going to be better for it in the long term. It obviously wasn't going to work out. The players weren't happy. The coach probably wasn't happy. He's happy there. The players are happy now. They thought they were going to be. But the difference is, is that, yeah, sure, maybe maybe Bruce wouldn't have done what Jim did in the games with Linus and Jeremy Swayman and testing lines earlier. Absolutely. But regardless of that, you shouldn't have blown the f-ing lead you had when exactly. you were the President's Cup trophy winners yep. in round one of the Stanley Cup. I don't give a shit. I don't yep. give a shit. Even if he didn't do that, you shouldn't have let that happen, Literally. especially with the experience you have. So shut the fuck up. Shut up. The it's not Jake is- DeBrusque's fault. No, it's not. It's and not you know what? Fault. The Stanley Cup's coming to Cape Cod. Yeah, it is. And Bruce probably stuck to his word. More than just Cape Cod, because there's a lot. We've talked about the Hockey East alumni on the Vegas Knights team. Yeah. Bruce Cassidy, too. Je- Eichel's probably going to bring it up to New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know what? You don't have anybody to blame other than the fact that you let the players run your organization last year. Mm-hmm. 100%. Um, um, 
I want to talk about the injuries really quick. You mentioned the Kachuk sternum. How do you, oh God, I hate crazy him, dude. But that sounds that's crazy. I mean, I guess if you don't have any titties to like, I don't know. No, that had to hot take. Like a should bitch. NHL players wear padded bras to protect their sternums? No way. I think it still would. <laughs> yeah, because your sternum's like here. As someone with no titties. My sternum is very exposed. So. Oh, ow. Um, Ekblad's injury list, he basically should have been Dude. on a ventilator. Dude, I don't even. Yeah, literally, he's like, should have been on a ventilator. It's a great way to put it. Like, wild. Just all, I love hearing all the injuries that come out after the Stanley Cup because it makes me feel like an absolute pussy. Yeah. Um. Jonathan Marsh so congratulations very deserved especially when you think about the fact that he wasn't an, he's an undrafted player who wasn't protected during the expansion draft I love when shit like that happens I love the you know underdog story also he's hot sick um other than that do you have any other thoughts yeah so I have one thing I actually haven't I haven't talked to you about this I've talked to a couple people about this um the Phil Kessel memes I have phenomenal. not seen these. So basically all like I saw a couple things on Twitter that were how, you know, like Phil Kessel just like being able to be like, fuck you, I want a Stanley Cup without having to play. Yeah. And this kind of got me thinking of other championships that have been won throughout history with players that didn't really play on the team. Oh. <laughs> So okay. I kind of thought about it. And if you have, if you think of any tweet about us um, or like shoot us a message, because I would love to hear your thoughts. Turn on um, the Grand Prix. Carson Wentz with the Eagles in 2018. He did not play, but they won. So good for him. <laughs> I, dude, I'm stealing the Doug Peterson statue. Yeah, that's so fair. Oh my that's God. That's ours. So that shit should, no. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Scott Pollard with the 2008 Celtics. That's kind of a deep cut. Um, my man's played like 20 games that season, I think. And Jeremy Lin, love him, but he did win with Toronto in 2019, which I did not realize. Breaking news. Breaking news. We're two minutes in. Pierre Gasly already having a blown gear shift. Wow. Jesus Christ. Two minutes into practice, Pierre Gasly is probably pitting for the day. Pierre Gasly. Um, all right, who's your last one? Sorry, that was breaking news that I needed. We're an F1 podcast. <laughs> Those are we are an F1 podcast. Um, I am an NBA girly. Those were my thoughts on that. Uh, I like that. That was that was a good that was a good call. My random NHL thing that we're doing, if you listen to me on the Joe Murray show earlier this week, I asked Joe if we could do a segment on what you would do with the Stanley Cup if you had it for 24 hours. If you missed what I had to say, I'd start off with a hot, hot date at Waffle House at Jacksonville's finest Waffle House in Jacksonville Beach, where there are roaches and it is beautiful. Um, so I would do that with some nice all-star special black trucker coffee situation. I'd fill it with wits custard at the beach as well. I would take it to the Jag stadium and Shad Khan would let me in the pool or I would fist fight him. And then I would end the night at surfer the bar with beers on beers on beers in that bitch, because I am confident that the Stanley cup has never been to Jacksonville, Florida. Haley, what would you do with the Stanley cup for 24 hours? Well, I have to say um it's already been to boston so i have well, to, yeah. i don't know what it's already done um Jordan i bennington's girlfriend has peed in it that's disgusting it's, there are pictures online of this actually i was gonna say i would treat it to a little portsmouth new hampshire sesh um maybe take it out on a boat in the bay or bring it to barrio have some margs out of it mm um also maybe some strawberry habanero dipping sauce from the friendly mm. coast shout out tyler um yeah i yeah i don't really know uh duck tour perhaps that's the best way to see the city i always say i still uh, haven't in, done in a duck tour um maybe bring him to see the city. we should do one next time i come up there 
Yeah, Tyler didn't know that they went in the water. No, he I thought they were like I ducks. thought they were like a Nashville party bus situation. You want to hear the most Boston thing of all time? Yeah. Last year I was walking to the garden uh from East Somerville for the game against the Bucks in what was it the Eastern Conference Finals maybe it was like Never game forget. 5 or yes. something like yes. that. Yes. I wanted to troll people. So, of course, what jersey did I decide to wear? Dante DiVincenzo. Um, and so a duck tour drove past us and started screaming at me. Fuck you, go home, fucking bucks, blah, 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 blah. I got in a screaming match with a duck tour for game five of the Eastern Conference Finals last year. So As you should. Especially As you should. They were probably all tourists, which is even better. Um, also, Alpine is being rolled off the track. I don't know which one. It is We're Gasly. This up now. It is Gasly. Okay, it's still him. Got it. He is, might be f- Big tough. Um. So, all right. Portsmouth uh, Sesh. Anything else? I don't know, dude. That's such a good question. Um, I did think like I kind of want to fill it with like a 7-Eleven Slurpee, like whenever you can like bring your own cup. Like that would be kind of fun. Can we do one that won't kill me? Yeah, we'd have to find out one that didn't wouldn't kill you. Yeah. All right, Tyler, what would you do with the Stanley Cup? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'd probably take a fill similar like approach nuggets. to you. I would go to a sick ass brunch. Um, big brunch guy. Um, That's Tyler's hot take of the week right there. <laughs> Sick ass brunch. I want that tattooed on me. Um, <laughs> Big yeah, brunch go guy? Go to a brunch, then, I don't know. It ends, if it ends around this time, go to the beach, hang out, me and Stan. Stepping on the beach. Yep. Yeah. That might be my call of the day. Go to bed All early. Right. Go to bed. <laughs> Said nobody with their day with the Stanley Cup ever. Oh.